We're going to continue on with our tutorial on numeric and scientific Python. Uh, this time we're going to do uh, starting with nonlinear equations and go on down. We'll go on down to interpolation. Okay, so we're going to cover these topics right here. And then we'll get on to regression after that, differential equations, and then nonlinear optimization. Let's go ahead and move this to the side um, and drag it down a little bit. Okay, so now what we're going to do is. Um, nonlinear equations so let's go ahead and pick off where we uh, pick up where we left off from last time and uh, what we're going to do is solve just a couple nonlinear equations uh, we did linear equations last time and those are fairly easy to solve but with nonlinear equations we've got to set up a function and also we want to use the scipy um, optimize um, we want to import fsolve so fsolve is going to be our function that we use uh, to solve these equations and I'm just going to do f of uh, z for right now. Uh, z is going to be composed of two variables. z0 is going to be x and z1 is going to be y. And then I want to return the residuals to this. Uh, this is going to be the leftovers when they're not. Uh, so the first equation is x times 2y and the second equation is x squared plus y squared equals negative one. I've got to put that on the, or sorry, equals one. I've got to put the, the negative one on the other side of the equation. So this is, when I evaluate this, if it's not equal to zero, it's not solved. And when this is not equal to zero, it's not solved yet. So it's going to find, you know, guess and check uh, in an intelligent way until it finds the solution to that. So what I want to do is um, just have a guessed value. And so I'll just guess zero and one. And then I'm going to use my f solve. I get to give it my function name and then my guess values. And then I can print z. Okay, so there's uh, the value of z. And then if I um, also print f of z, let's just see how it did. So you can see the one residual, that's the x plus 2y is equal to 0.0, .0 and the other one is negative 1 times 10 to the minus 16. So for all practical purposes, that's equal to 0. Okay, so that's the uh, nonlinear equations right there. Um, in the future, you might be able to use the SynPy non-lin solve. Um, that's still under development right now. Let's go into integration now. So now we've done uh, you know, nonlinear equations. Now we're going to do integration. So let's go ahead and step up uh, here. I'll erase this. And uh, the very first thing that we want to do for this one is do from scipy.integrate uh, import quad. So it's going to do quadrature for us. Um, and uh, we'll also do the simpy as well, but I'll show you, first of all, the numeric solution to this. I'm going to define a new function. This is just going to be f of x. And I want to return. Um, just x squared. So there's my function right there. So if I do um, you know, print, as I showed before, print f of 2, that's just going to be equal to 4. I just squared the input value. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, integrate this. We want to integrate it from a 0 to 2. So what I want to do is just print quad, and I'll have my function that I'm going to be integrating from 0 to 2. And you can see that it returns two values there. The very first value is going to be the integration result. And then the second value is an estimate of the error. Uh, so if you just want to get the very first value, you can put a 0 here. So it just gives you the very first value. If you just want the estimate of the error, likewise, you can put 1 there. Okay. So I'm just going to put 0 here just so I can see the result. Now, if you just take x cubed, okay, so I'm just going to print and let's just do uh, 2 uh, to the third. Um, let's see, uh, divided by 3. That's um, the analytic solution to that. If you just integrate x squared, you get x cubed over 3. And you integrate uh, from the limits of uh, 2 to 0. So if you plug that in, you get that answer. So that's the uh, more exact answer right there. But let's also do this with. Um, SymPy as well. So I want to use a get a symbolic solution and 
let's do sym init uh, printing. Okay, and then uh, let's do just define our variable x equals sim dot uh, symbol, and I'm going to have x. I only need one for this. Uh, in this case, one variable, or I could use symbols with the lowercase um, as I showed before. And I just want to integrate um, x squared with respect to x. Okay, and if I just print f, then I see x cubed over 3. Um, I could also do x, uh, f dot sub, um, let's do x of, uh, let's see, 2 um, sub. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> The, I can substitute in, let's substitute as you, okay, so I get 8 thirds. If I substitute in, uh, it'll put in the 2 for me and then show me a, a nice answer with the 2 substituted in. Uh, the other thing I can do is, um, let me go ahead and just do f dot, uh, let's see, I'll do um, pretty print of f as well. Okay, so that just shows it more in a text format. Uh, it tries to make it nice. So if you can't see the, uh, if you just put F there at the end, if you can't see that, use uh, sym.pprint. I call it pretty print, um, but uh, it probably means something different. Okay, um, let's go on to differentiation. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do is, Similar to this one, we're going to do a numeric solution and then also an analytic solution. Let's just go ahead and keep this same uh, function right there. And uh, so instead of scipy integrate, we're going to import um, this one is going to be scipy.misc miscellaneous. I guess I couldn't figure out where to put it, um, but we're going to import derivative. Okay, and then we want to print the derivative at uh, of our function f at a value, let's say, of 2. Okay, um, oh, deriva uh, derivative. Okay, there we go. We got uh, 4. So we had uh, the derivative, um, and uh, let's say we just change this to x cubed. Okay, then we have 13 instead. But one of the things with the derivative function, if you type uh, help for the derivative, you're going to see something that's going to probably surprise you. Um, the default for this finite difference is equal to 1. So if you want to change that, um, you got to do dx equals something else. Um, Let's just put that at 0 0.1 instead, and you can see that the answer is going to change. So that was not a correct solution. It was correct if you had a, a dx of, uh, you know, it was fairly large, but you may want to do something fairly small. Okay, so it changed it from 13 to 12. So let's go on to um, doing this with SymPy as well. Um, so I'm just going to, again, I'm going to create our, uh, let's see, um, we'll import SymPy as SYM, and then create our X variable, SYM dot uh, symbol X. Okay, and then uh, what we want to do now is go ahead and differentiate. Um, so I'll use the diff function in SymPy, and we'll go ahead and do uh, X cubed, and I want to differentiate with respect to X. And let's go ahead and just print out uh, that. There's 3x squared. And again, you can do substitute in the value of x. You can put it, I want to evaluate this at uh, 2. And there you can see it equals 12. There's no uh, numerics involved in that. It's an analytic solution. OK, so there it is, uh, differentiation. Uh, let's go ahead and do interpolation as well. Um, what we want to do is uh, interpolation is we're interpolating between 
uh, different data points. And um, we're going to do, uh, for example, a linear, quadratic, or cubic interpolation. So let's go ahead and first of all uh, import the package that we're going to need. And this one's going to be scipy.interpolate. Uh, import and interp1d. Okay, let's go ahead and create a. Um, uh, we'll do mp.a range. This is going to give us uh, values between a start and an end with an increment. So I want to do it just between 0 and 5 with increment of 1. I'm going to go ahead and print x just to show that. Okay, and it's not going to include the very last one, so let's go ahead and do uh, 0 to 6. And I'm going to do y as well. Um, I'm going to do uh, an array. Uh, just going to type these in 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 1.0, and 0 0.9. Okay, so there we have our uh, points. And again, if we do mat plot lib um, inline, that's only needed for the Jupyter Notebook. And then we do uh, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, then we can plot this. Okay, x and y. Okay, so there are the points. Let's make those maybe uh, blue dots. Blue dots. Okay, there we go. So we have some blue dots on our graph. So now what we want to do is we want to interpolate between those uh, points. And let's go back up here and do that. Uh, so I have everything I need. I'm going to create a new uh, linear one, linear uh, interpolation. And there's interp1d. I'll put in my x and y values. And then the kind, uh, the kind is going to be, I don't need that in quotes, but I do need linear in quotes. Okay. And um, okay, so now what I can do is I can evaluate y1, I could evaluate that at um, 0. Point, let's see, let's evaluate that at 2.5 and print that. Okay, so that's equal to 0. 0.4. But let's say I want to see that on the graph as well. Um, let's just go ahead and do y, y1 of x, and we'll make that a red line. Okay, so that um, there's our linear interpolation. I've taken all the data points. I fed in my x and y values, and then I interpolated between those. And that new function y1 is going to, if you call it with any x value, it'll return the linear interpolation between them. I can also create another one. Okay, and let's go ahead and change this to quadratic. And uh, let's add that to our plot as well. So now we have a quadratic plot. I'll just do y2. Let's make that a black uh, dashed line. Okay, oh, uh, kind equals, hmm, what did I do wrong there? Um, it doesn't look like a quadratic. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's see, I've got something happening here. Okay, I've got y2. And let's put these together. Okay. Quadratic and linear. Okay, they kind of look like the same one to me. Um, they shouldn't be. And so I'm still trying to figure out what, uh, what has changed. It. You know what I neglected to do here? I have to put in uh, other x values. Um, let me go ahead and do lin space between 0 and 6 and put in 100 points because it's only evaluated at the points x. So uh, here let's put in xp instead and xp. And then we'll see the full uh, linear interpolation. I've got to change these to xp as well because I'm plotting uh, a lot more points now instead of just the uh, the x values. Okay, and let's see, x and y kind quadratic. 
Let's see what our error is down here. Oh, and, and x nu is above the interpolation range. Okay, so let me go 0 to 5. Um, I can't interpolate outside that limit. Okay, so there's my quadratic, my linear, and then also my uh, points that are there on the graph. Okay, so let me go back here. Just review this. I imported interp one d Just created some fake data right here. Um, I had to use this just for the plotting down below. Okay, plotted the points. Those are the blue dots. Created about 100 points between 0 and 5. You can't go outside that range or it's going to give you an error. And then interp one d is going to give you a linear correlation. Uh, if you say kind equals linear. And in this case, it's going to be quadratic. Um, let's just throw in cubic here, just because we're interested to see what cubic would do. Okay, and I'll make that a green dotted line with y3. Okay, so cubic is just a little bit different than the quadratic, but it's still very similar. Okay, so that uh, concludes this one. We covered, um, you know, differentiation. Uh, derivatives, um, integration, and interpolation. For the next set of videos, we're going to cover um, some of the regressions, and then we'll cover uh, differential equation as well, and then nonlinear optimization.